us have a time of prayer. I believe that this is a time where we ought to really call upon God. The people that do know their God, the Bible says, shall be strong and do great exploits. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you this evening. Come on, wherever you are. Lord, we bless you this evening. We honor your name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they're safe. I believe that in this time that we are facing, I believe that at the church, as a church, the body of Christ, I believe that we are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Father, we bless your name. We bless your name. Come on, church. We bless your name. We bless your name. We honor the name of the Lord. When my heart is overwhelmed, the psalmist says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. We pray that you lead us to the rock this evening. Holy Ghost, we pray that you lead us. Lord, we believe that this is a strategic time. This is a strategic hour. And Lord, we are here. And you, you know what you're doing. You're in charge. So God, we acknowledge your sovereignty this evening. We declare that you are Lord. In spite of how we feel. In spite of the questions we may have. In spite of the concerns. In spite, Lord, of, of all of the calamity and catastrophe. We believe that you're God and you're still in charge. You're not in heaven panicking. Lord, you're not nervous in heaven. Nothing takes you by surprise. Nothing catches you off guard. Hallelujah. Lord, you know what we have need of before we ask. And God, we pray even as we enter into this season of prayer and this season of devotion as a church, we pray, oh God, that Lord, you will speak by your spirit. Hallelujah. We declare the Holy Ghost is in charge this is your time this is your hour and lord we honor you this evening we hallow your name we hallow your name our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name we hallow your name this evening we give honor to the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah we give honor to our God this evening. We declare there is no God like Jehovah. We declare, O oh God, that you are you reign, that you're in charge. And Lord, as a church, we pray we, we, we come before you tonight. Lord, confessing our sins, where we may have sinned in word, in thought, or in deed. Oh God, we, we, we confess. And Lord, you said in your word that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Lord, we, we repent as a people. Oh God, where we may have been proud or self-righteous, we repent. We repent of prayerlessness. We repent, O oh God, Lord of selfishness. We repent of sin. We repent, O oh God, as a people where we, we, we fail to witness. We repent, Lord, as a people. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, wherever you are. Let's just let's just have a, a time where we just lay it all before Him. Purify our hearts, Father. Hallelujah. Purify our hearts. Purify our hearts. Wash us this evening. Father, we pray even at this time that, Lord, we will see you. 
we would see past the crisis to see Christ. We will see past, oh God, the negative news to see the good news. We will see past, oh God, the natural and into the spirit. Because Lord, there's so much happening in the realm of the spirit. And so Father, we honor you this evening. We honor your name. We honor your name. We honor your name. We honor your name. Hallelujah. We honor your name. We honor your name. You said in your word that we ought to pray for them that are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. We pray, Father, for those that are in authority. Oh God, we pray that you give them wisdom. Give our prime minister wisdom. Lord, give those that are in authority wisdom. This evening as, as to how to deal with this pandemic how to deal with this crisis god we pray and we declare that the king's heart is in the hands of the lord i pray even lord that you would use this as a as a tool that we would use it lord as a tool to win souls for he that winneth souls is wise so we bless your name this evening we bless your name we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We wait for you this evening, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We wait for you. We wait for your anointing. As a church, teach us the art of waiting. I pray even at this time, Father, that you would, you would teach us the art of waiting. For they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And so as a church, Lord, we lift up your name. We bless you. We honor you. We honor you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad. I'm so happy to see all of you. Um, those of you visiting Edinburgh 500 Church for the first time, <laughs> you know, please stand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, we, we welcome you. And uh, we're glad you're, you're able to join us. I believe, Church, that this is a there was a, a, a time of, of uncertainty, it's a time of um, crisis in some areas. I believe it's a time that the Lord has orchestrated. It's a time where I believe that God is setting things up in such a way. You know, it, it, it's funny because um, a couple of of prayer meetings ago um in our our time of prayer as a church i felt like the lord said that this is seeking season all right he, I, I felt so strongly that he said that this is seeking season and that was before um what is taking place um now that was before i, I don't believe we had our first case as yet but i felt you know the lord laid on our heart that this is seeking season and now you know the um a lot of work um going on shift systems um some teacher well schools are closed and a lot of people are home and i believe that god has always prepared his church before it happens i believe that i believe that as children of god we are not supposed to be caught off guard like the world. That's my belief based on scripture. As the, I, I believe as the people of God, that God, the Bible said in the book of Amos chapter 3, and I believe it's verse 6, it says that surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secrets to the servants, the prophets. And I believe that God has revealed secrets to us. He, he wants to reveal secrets to us. 
and I believe that is the 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 the, the area or the realm that um, he wants us to go at tonight. Um, I have a short devotional I want to share with you as well. Um, those of you who have prayer requests, uh, feel free to to put them in in the comment section. And as much as I see, um, we will pray and we would agree. Amen. Amen. All right. And so um, the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. I have a, just a short thought I want to share with you. Um, it's taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. All right. Isaiah chapter 6. When all fong say amen. That's an Edinburgh joke. You know, so those of you who are not in Edinburgh, you may miss it. Amen. <laughs> but all fongs say amen. If you didn't find it as yet, say wait on me. Isaiah chapter 6, I'm reading from verse 1. And here's what it says. And this is, I, I felt as in, in, in a, my time of devotion, you know, just praying and waiting on the Lord. The Lord laid this on my heart. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1. The Bible said that in the year King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne. And we'll stop there. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. And, and, and King Uzziah was, he was a, um, a, a, a king that was uh, lifted up in pride right he was a, a, a king that you know Isaiah would have looked up to and so in the record in, in Isaiah now saying this he's saying in the year that King Uzziah died that now that is a serious thing because Uzziah was stricken, stricken by leprosy right and um, it was in the year that he died Right, on the listen to what I'm saying in the year King Uzziah died. So it's in the is in a year of of crisis, is in a year of calamity, is in a year of bad news, is in a year of, of of uncertainty, and I believe that this is this is a somewhat similar to what we're facing today. Um, Uzziah uh, was he was stricken by a plague right and um, in the year that King Uzziah died I saw also the Lord right now when we go on social media whatever platform we go on all we're seeing today is um, the, the coronavirus and or COVID-19 um, and all the negatives surrounding it um, and and it's, it's a serious thing, I believe. Um, it's, I mean, it, it is. And, and I'm looking at it, I'm saying, God is so God that He can bring the nations of the world on their knees with a coal. Did that sink in? He is so God that he can bring the nations of the, on on their knees all the, the the all of the the great economies i mean italy has has one of the best healthcare in the world and the nations of the world are brought to their knees by a coal in the year king uzziah died when there's so much negativity Isaiah said, I saw also the Lord. The question that I have for you tonight, church, what else do you see? You've seen all the negatives. We've seen all of the, 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 the bad news. But what else do you see? What else do you see? Do you see God in the midst of it? Is it? Do you see, or do you have an? Would you have an? Do you have an encounter with God? What else? What else do you see? 
I believe that God is setting things up and could it be that he is in the midst of this bad news, in the midst of this chaos, in the midst of this tragic time, in the midst of everything that is going on around us, could it be that God wants his church to see him more clearly? Could it be that he could be setting this whole thing in the midst of it? Could it be that he's using this to draw his church or to draw people closer to himself? What else do you see? What else do you see? I, 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 I had my daughter um, today, so I was watching her, right? And um, she was, so while, while she was on me, she was, you know, fussing. And so, you know, she just fussy, right? She was just fussy at the time. My fatherly instincts, praise God. Hallelujah. My fatherly instincts kicked in. And so, based through my fatherly instincts, I, 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 I got the revelation that she was hungry. Right? I got the revelation that she was hungry. So, now remember I told you that she was fussy. Right? Now, I, I put her down. Right? Because her mother was doing something. So I put her down in her crib. And I, I, I proceeded to, to, to make tea for her. Now, I don't have to tell you, church. <laughs> when I put her down, I don't have to tell you the, the, the reaction. You understand? I mean, it was... I, I, she lost it. Right? She totally lost it. Now, I know her mother is watching me. And I'm not bad talking your child. But she totally lost it. Right? She, I mean, she was crying. You know, the Bible said in First Samuel chapter thirty that the the men cried until they had no more power to weep. That was her. She was crying until she had no more power. I mean, she was totally just. just she was just crying, right? And um, I mean, she lost it. You know, there's some people. You know, I, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but have somebody ever lost it in front of you? And after they lost it, and they, they just tell you off, you know, you're, you're saying, I don't know how we can go forward in this relationship. I don't know how we can repair this. I mean, it was that bad, right? I, I told we were good, but I mean, she was just... Anyway, so when, while, <laughs> so when she, she's there crying, just totally crying, right? I, I, I finished making her tea. And I came to her, I lift her up, and um, I mean, she was, at this time, she, she's just trying to catch herself, right? And um, I, I put the bottle in her mouth, and all cried on. Right? All the cried on. And I said to her, I said, um, Sweetie Pie, don't you know that as your father, anything I do I do it to benefit you I said that to her I said I said honey do you know that if I put you down right if you're inconvenienced don't you know that do I do this right I do it to benefit you in the long run and church I want to let you know that we have a father hallelujah we have a father that in the midst of this calamity in the midst of everything that is taking place all that he's doing all that is going on around will benefit his people all things the bible says work together for good to them that love god and to those who are called according to his purpose i understand that it is it, it, it you know like like our like my daughter i understand that sometimes at the moment it will not feel too convenient there's nothing convenient about the the, the possibilities of somebody losing their job there's nothing convenient about you know what is taking place in our world today but i i, I tell you church that the reality of the matter 
is that if we get this revelation that God is our Father and we understand that no matter what happens that we are loved and that we are His I believe our reaction would be totally different what do you see? what do you see church? and so he said so the Bible said he saw also the Lord right and here's what it says he saw him sitting upon seated upon a throne and the trail of his robe filled the temple with his with the glory with his glory the trail the Bible said the trail of the robe filled the temple the trail of his robe filled the temple and I, I, before I even move on I believe personally that this is where the woman of the history of blood got a revelation because he's so glorious he's so awesome in who he is his he's so the bible said the whole earth is full of his glory and so isaiah when he he is now in the midst of this calamity he's seen in the realm of the spirit that there's a god and that he's seated upon the throne isn't that profound that's that 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 of all the visions that he would have had that's the vision that he had he's seen in the midst of the chaos god seated upon a throne and the trail of his robe the bible said, you know that trail mean that trail just it literally means the skirt of his robe the, the the very end of his robe and i believe that that is where this woman with the issue of blood got her revelation when she understood who he was the bible said she said within herself if i could just touch hallelujah the hem of his garment man there's enough glory on the trail to make me to make me well anyway and so so she said the bible said that he, he, he this is this is what he saw and i'm asking you church let's use this opportunity to see god let's use this as an opportunity as a church to draw closer to him Let's use this, this, this time as an opportunity to, to, to reach out. And, I, and I'll just, we'll go a little further into that. The Bible said now, going down to verse um, 5. So the Bible said, he said, so I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of our people of unclean lips. So the first, the first uh, uh, thing I want us, wanted us to consider is what do you see? The second thing I want us to look at is what do you speak? Are you as a church, are, are we as the body of Christ or are we as God's children? Are we going to get uh, sucked into the whole uh, negative talk? He realized, Isaiah realized, listen, I'm a man of unclean lips and I dwell among a people of unclean lips. And so the Bible said that, that, that the angel came and brought live coals and put it upon his tongue. So church, what do you see and what do you speak? What do you see and what do you speak? What do you see? And what do you speak? Let me go on a little further. Here's what, here's what, um, let's go down now to verse 8. Here's what he said in verse 8. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Or who shall go for us? First thing, remember the first thing? What was the first thing? Put it in the comments. What was the first thing? What do you see? Correct. And the second, the second thing I wanted us to look at is what do you speak? And the third thing in verse 8, what do you hear? In this season that we are that we are in right now, what do you hear? Is it that all that we're hearing 
and all that we are we are giving ourselves to you know the bible said faith come by hearing and i believe in my when in all of my heart that the, 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 when we give ourselves too much to what we the negative that we hear what do you hear in the midst of it what do you hear and this is this is where i wanted this is actually the the area i was looking at in terms of my study because i find it to be so profound that isaiah god was not speaking directly to isaiah isaiah overheard a conversation my god hallelujah I, you hear what listen you hear what i'm saying isaiah overheard a conversation god wants his people to be so close to him that we can he overhear what the throne room is saying what do you see what do you speak what do you hear What else? What else do you see? Beside the, the, the whole corona uh, um, catastrophe, what else do you see? Beside all the negative that 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 the world is 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 is, is speaking right now, what do you speak? Beside all of the 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 the, the, the bad news that we're hearing, what else do you hear? Church, let's give ourselves. Let's give ourselves to God in this season. Let's give ourselves. And and, and the final thing, um, you know, I have how much clothes I have. I, I think I think I usually have three when I'm preaching on a Sunday, and I think I have two when I'm when I'm ministering on a Tuesday night. I don't know if somebody can confirm that, right? But I will use my first one now. My first closing. This is my this is the fourth thing I wanted us to look at. In verse 9. Well, the latter part of verse 8. So the Bible said that also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who shall go for us? Then I said, Here am I. Send me. So who else? The first, the first thing I, I spoke about. First thing I spoke about is what else do you see? Second thing I, I spoke about, what else do you speak? Third thing I spoke about, what else do you hear? And the fourth aspect of this is who else will he send? Isaiah went. Who else is willing to go? Who else is willing to go? I believe, church, that this is a time where the Lord is calling his people to walk closer than, than we have ever walked before. I want to be like Isaiah, to overhear a conversation. You know, I, I was saying to the church uh, before, um, in terms of any time God did something on the earth, he always found some, he always would look for somebody to tell this to, because he's a relational God. So the Bible spoke about in, in the book of Genesis chapter 6, when he was about to destroy the earth. The Bible spoke about the fact that they repented the Lord that he made man and then he went on to say but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord when he was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah he said shall I hide this thing from Abraham seeing that that he shall become a, a great and mighty nation shall I hide this thing from him when when Jesus was on was walking on the earth in the last supper he said he while he's dipping i love jesus he's just so he, listen 
I love him so much. So he he's sitting having a having a meal, and you know I love him because he he can just change a conversation, right? So he's sitting there having a meal, and um, just out of nowhere he say, um, "Oh yeah, by the way, one of you is a devil." <laughs> and then they, they, you know he he spoke about what the fact that one of you would betray me, and then. Um, the Bible said that that they, they started to question, is it I, is it I, you know, and then the Bible said that Peter, right, signaled to John, who was leaning on Jesus' bosom to ask the question, who's leaning on his bosom? Who's leaning on his bosom? I, I think that this is a season, and I, I, I mean, I've never seen anything like this before in my entire life. I mean, like literally, streets are like countries are closed, like just closed. You, you go to the malls, there's, there's nobody in the malls. I've never seen anything like this before, and I believe that just like I prepared tea for my daughter because I knew she was hungry maybe because she's so young she's not able to properly articulate how she's feeling all she knows is to cry and maybe 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 as a church we have not reached a level of maturity that we ought to be and so sometimes all we do is cry but when she's when she's mature enough she will know exactly why her father is doing what he's doing and I believe that is a level of maturity that we ought to get to where we know exactly what God is doing. Somebody talk to me. Say amen if you agree with that. Hallelujah. And so even as we spend some time in prayer, right we have some prayer requests i see a lot of prayer requests coming in all right so just remember um all right so i'm having a prayer request here from crystalline all right all right pray for me let me see a serious drama with my brother father all right so our sister crystalline has requested prayer all right um father we, we we remember our sister even at this time our sister crystalline who's facing a family matter lord she she she's such a, a, a you know I, when i think about her i remember mary and Martha and Lazarus. Lord, we, we pray for her. Lord, we declare and we, we thank you for her faithfulness to the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for her, 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 her undying faith. We thank you for her fire for the Lord. And God, we even now, we as a church, we lift her before you. Lord, we declare and we, we, we send your anointing to that home. The centurion said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but just speak the word only. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your word is so powerful. Hallelujah. That you said, just, he said, just speak it. You don't have to come. You don't have to take a, a car. I don't even have to tell you where I'm going. Just speak the word only. Your word declares that your word shall not return to you void, but it shall accomplish and father we we send the word of peace to that home right now hallelujah we 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 we, we, we stand in agreement with our sister lord and we declare the peace of god that passes all understanding we declare oh god that you will give her the peace to deal with this situation we pray that you will give oh god the the peace to the family allow the presence of god to so fill that house to so fill that room that God, there will be an a, 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 a easy resolution to this conflict. Blessed are the peacemakers. 
and we declare Lord in, in the name of Jesus that she will be a peacemaker in the midst of this chaotic time in Jesus name Amen Amen any other prayer requests just put it in the comments all right and if by chance I would have missed it don't worry um, we will pray in private you know but I just believe that uh, and, and I believe that the Lord has given me a, a very um, powerful word um, for us on Sunday all right I will be live again Sunday morning at 10 a.m 10 a.m that's the time I usually go on um, when I'm in church right so at 10 a.m now remember <laughs> when I'm in church I usually preach an hour right but you know I'm so comfortable saying down right sitting down that um, I think we may go two hours <laughs> but God is good hallelujah and so we, we just I just believe that is a season that can be a, such a powerful one if we do what God wants us to do amen so continue bringing in the prayer requests seeing somebody saying here pray for my health okay father we we understand and we acknowledge your word heaven and earth will pass away but the word of the Lord will stand forever and Lord we, we even pray for those who oh God are, are, are faced with an infirmity of any kind who may be sick in their bodies Lord we declare the healing power of God we declare in the name of Jesus that by your stripes we are healed and so father I, I pray and we declare in the name of Jesus that everyone who may be suffering of, of an illness of any kind any any disease any sickness back aches chest pains stomach any any area of their life any area of their their, their whether it be a mental illness oh god whether it be a psychological whether it be oh god a, 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 a sickness of any whatever it may be whatever sickness they may be may be faced with lord we declare that you are our healer we understand lord that you are the physician we may have many physicians, but we acknowledge that you are the physician. So, Father, we declare the healing power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Wherever they may be, whatever part of the country, whatever part of the world they may be, we declare the healing power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We acknowledge, Lord, that you, if you cannot heal, if you cannot do it, it cannot be done. So we put our faith, we put our trust in you. For they that put their trust in the Lord shall not be put to shame. And Lord, we thank you for your healing power. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. And so as I was saying um, on a sun Sunday, by God's grace, I'm going to be back, right? I, I believe that there's a word from the Lord, and especially in this season, and I'm going to share on the theme, right? And so this is, the, I'm going to share on the theme. The theme is the word of God. This is the time that God's people should understand the true power of the word of God so the theme is the word of God and so I'm gonna be back here Sunday right any other prayer requests I will, I will just wait on a while for any more prayer requests any other prayer requests we bless his name this evening We 
bless his name. We bless his name. Father, we even now we pray for our pastors. I see that prayer request, brother. We pray for our pastors right now. We pray for our ministers. We pray for our Christian workers. We pray, Lord, for those, the men and women of God. We pray for our intercessors. We pray for the leadership of the body of Christ. Lord, the first thing I pray against, I pray against the spirit of discouragement. Hallelujah. I, Lord, we come against the spirit of discouragement that may be plaguing or fa our ministers will be faced with. Your word declares, Lord, that David encouraged himself in the Lord. There were, there, there's times, Lord, as ministers, where we may feel so discouraged. There are times, as Lord, as ministers, that we may feel as though every our world is crumbling on top of us. Lord, but I, I declare in the name of Jesus, and I rebuke that spirit of discouragement that is, is, is that is plaguing our ministers that may be trying to attack oh god the health of our ministers i declare in the name of jesus that as the, 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 the ministers of god that we will enter and strive to get in to that isaiah experience that in the, in the midst of this calamity our men and women of god will see god where we will see, O oh God, that you're high and lifted up. Where we will understand your sovereignty. Where we may, may, may see you clearly, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I pray for every minister, every man of God, every woman of God. Lord, every young minister. O oh God, all those who may be called or who may sense the call of God to ministry of any kind. We declare in the name of Jesus that God, you by your by your grace, will continue to visit us. Your word declares that Jacob was left alone and there he wrestled with a man until the breaking of day. I declare that, Lord, that even as our ministers would be left alone, I declare in the name of Jesus, though we may feel isolated, though we may feel as though no one understands, I declare, Lord, that you will use this as an opportunity for an encounter. And Jacob was left alone, and there he wrestled with a man until the breaking of the eye. I lift up those who may be wrestling right now. Those who may be wrestling with the thought of giving up. Those who may be wrestling with the thought of just throwing in the towel. Those who may be wrestling with the thought of leaving. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus, I declare, Lord, that by your grace, that you would reach forth and that you would touch them. You would meet them at their point of need. Those who may be suffering in silence. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare, God, that you will visit your men and women of God. In the name of Jesus. And even now I pray for those who on this chat who may be backslidden, who may be so discouraged, Lord, that they may they 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 they, they feel as though what is the purpose? I sense a strong burden for some of you. I believe that. You're not, some of you, you feel as though you're drifting away. Some of you feel, I, I sense that you're feeling somewhat overwhelmed. And so I, I just want you to agree with me. If that's you, I want you to agree with me as I pray for you. Father, we, we lift up your precious people. We lift up those on this chat, those on, uh, on this live. Lord, who may feel so overwhelmed. You said to Peter, the enemy desires to have you and to sift you as wheat, but I prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, strengthen the brethren. I pray for those 
whose feet may be failing. Hallelujah. I declare in the name of Jesus that there is one that is praying for you. I declare that you have an intercessor. And I declare that your faith will not fail. Even now, Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that you will assign someone to their life. Hallelujah. Assign someone, Lord, the, 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 the same way that, that Mary was faced with her, 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 her challenge or, 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 the, or the, this vision that you have placed, this unique calling that she had. And you sent Elizabeth. You said, there's one who's going through something similar. I declare in the name of Jesus that you will strategically cause them to enter into godly relationships. That you will send someone their way. Oh God, who you have placed a burden, you have placed them on their hearts. I declare those of you who may be feeling as though you're drifting away and the waves of life is somewhat pulling you. I declare that God will send someone to snatch you right in the nick of time because you're too precious. You're too precious in the eyes of God. You're too precious in the eyes of God for him to leave you. If a man had a hundred sheep and one goes astray, one goes missing, he would leave the 99 and go after the one. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that you will send someone after them. I declare, Lord, that you will put them on someone's heart in the name of Jesus. There's nowhere else to go. I remember one time, um, Jesus said something that the um, everyone got upset with. And the Bible said, and many left him from that day and followed him no more. And then the Bible said, Jesus turned to his disciples and said, will you go also? Peter said, where can I go? You have the words of eternal life. And I want to encourage you, those of you who, who feel as though you're drifting away, the Lord has placed you on my heart very strongly right now. Those of you who feel as though you're drifting away, there is nowhere else to go. Only he, only Jesus has the words of eternal life. Only you, Peter said, have the words of eternal life. Only you. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And so we bless his name this evening. I want to thank you so much. You know, I you know I really want to thank those of you who, who came onto this live. And if, if you have any last prayer requests, feel free to put them in the comment section. And I'll be sure to remember you in prayer. But I just want to encourage you, church. I, I love God and I love God's people. I believe that. I believe with all of my heart. Whether I live or I die. This is my peace. This is my comfort. This is my boost. Whether... I'm happy whether I'm sad I'm loved whether I live or I die I'm his and so this is my comfort even in this season of uncertainty right and this is this is this is my boost whether whatever happens in this world whatever whatever I do you know it, as it relates to my daughter yes amen 
Amen. As it relates uh, to my daughter, do I make her cry or I make her smile? I love her. Amen. And 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 though as the children of God, though we smile or we cry, he loves us. And so this is our boast. Amen. So fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Alright, so I have two clues. And somebody said I had two clues, right? So my second clue then is this. God wants his people to have faith. Simple. Simple, but fear not. Fear not. In this season, and I, I know it's a is a, a panic season, but in this season, God is saying, Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Here's why, here's why you 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 you, you ought not to fear, right? If in under the Old Testament, if the blood of a lamb could have kept the death angel away from the people of God, how much more the blood of Jesus could keep a coal away from you? If the blood of a lamb, which is a type, Right, it is a type. It is a a, a, a type and a symbol. It's, it's it's not the real thing. It's a shadow of something to come. If that was enough to keep the dead angel away, how much more the blood of Jesus? Yes, yes, anointed queen, I am. I'm going live on Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, for the word. Right? I'm going live 10 a.m. Sunday morning sharp. The word will be ready. Amen. The mail will be ready at 10 a.m. sharp. And I just, as I close, I just want to pray for my sister. Um, where are you sister where are you where are you yes yes all right how you pronounce that boy chanel is it chanel goodrich i want to pray for you um you asked to pray for you father lord we we pray for our sister right now hallelujah i pray for you right now I pray for you right now. Wherever you may be, I pray for you right now. And I even pray for your family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I lift this sister before you. And God, I declare that you are her boast I declare that you are her strength in this, in this time of her life Lord when the enemy may try his best to pull her away I declare in the name of Jesus that you are her strength and so I rebuke the devourer I rebuke the enemy over your life I rebuke every contrary spirit, every everything that is assigned to your life to hinder you from walking into your true potential and destiny. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I sense even in, in this is how I this is how I, I, I feel in my spirit that even as you, you make two steps forward, I sense that something is just trying to pull you four steps back. This is how I, I, I this is what I feel the Lord is saying and Lord in the name of Jesus I declare that God you are you are about to remove that hindrance over her life in the name of Jesus and so I declare that you are free in Jesus name 
free from every bondage free from anything that hinders you from stepping into your destiny and I declare that who the sun sets free is free indeed and so I thank you for her and I thank you for the wonderful testimony that she will she will have for she overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of her testimony and so I thank you in Jesus name God bless you everyone God bless you God bless you all right so um, I, I stuck to my 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 agreement of one hour seven to eight amen and so um, I will be here uh, on another live I want you to join us um, those of you who you know you would have had a, a, a home church all right and I don't know what 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 is the you know the, 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 the system with your church but you're free if you have the time to join us here at 10 a.m. right um, we have other um, notices will follow all right but at Sunday morning at 10 a.m. we're gonna go live again all right for the Word of God I believe the Lord has given us a, a very a powerful word um, I believe it's such a strong word a strategic word for his people amen and so I'm gonna be back here on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Amen, right? So God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you all in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.